Hello, beautiful humans on the internet. I'm back, and I have more shit in my lap. I bought crap. So yeah, uh, I realized that I got my FabFitFun box recently. I realized that I got my BoxyLux box recently. And then I was on the Morphe website and I was like, well, I got 10% off. And they finally had the things that I've been looking at back in stock. And then I was looking at Ulta and uh, I don't even have an excuse for that one. I kind of had some coupons. Mm, not really. Um, and then I was at TJ Maxx and I had $30 of reward points. And what did I buy? Makeup. So I have some crap to show you today. Um, let's start with Ulta because that's in the box that I have in front of me right now. Also, if you're noticing, wow, Emily, your hair looks uh, kind of greasy. It's because it's really greasy. So, astute observation. Oh, there goes the bell wrap. Alrighty, first thing first. This is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, this is by Catrice, which is a super cheap brand, like super, super, super cheap. Um, and it is the Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Um, it looks... Ooh! Can you see that swirl? Ooh, that's like pearlescent. I'm excited to use that. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's use it right now. Ooh, it smells good. Woohoo! I feel wet. <laughs> That was really freaking wet. It smelled really good. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play more. Um, I also got this Ulta Ultra Slim Rel Pencil. Because I don't have any drugstore brow products. Actually, I lie. I do. Um, but not any that I love. And they had like a buy two, get two free deal. And it had good ratings. Can't open it. I mean, it basically looks like your typical brow product. It's got the pencil on one side. It feels a little ooh shitty, to be honest. Like real shitty. <laughs> um. Hmm. We'll see. And then it's got the little spoolie on the end. It feels so waxy, like it's gonna be hard to like put on but I guess maybe it'll stay better once it's on I don't know um I know that because I bought a couple Maybelline products I got a little trial size of their master precise all day liquid liner I think this was what I used to use all the time I think it's a felt tip uh, another product Alta Beauty poreless face primer smooths and refines pores uh, again I don't really have any drugstore primers so I wanted a drugstore primer it feels very much like um any pore primer like that kind of silicone oh it's dripping out of the tube any silicone <laughs> primer I got so much more crap than I thought I did don't judge me I've been stressed lately Makeup makes me happy. Okay, then I got a another primer because drugs are primer. Um, this one is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you've never used e.l.f. before, why haven't you? It's so freaking cheap. I want to try it out. I haven't used an e.l.f. product in a while. I used to live by e.l.f. products when I first started doing makeup because, again, cheap. And I am cheap. However, once I started delving into, like, better brands, I realized some of them kind of suck. But this has good reviews. It's in a little tub like this. And it looks like that. Hmm. I mean, it feels nice, but I feel like it's going to be challenging to get it from this to this. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to like scrape it out. Next. Oh, because I got, um, buy two, get one, buy two, get two free from all the stuff, I got a eyelash comb. Because that's something I need in my life. Looks like that. I'm kind of really excited to have it, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you've ever applied mascara and you're like, ooh, that's clumpy, you just pop this guy out and like, ding, 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 and it's done. Ooh, 
excited for these. These are like the main reason that I purchased from Ulta. Um, I have always loved Babeline products. If there's like a go-to drugstore brand, oh, somebody's running by. Squirrel! Maybelline has always been my favorite go-to drugstore brand. Like, they can do no wrong. Their mascaras are great. Their eyeliners are great. Their blushes are great. Their foundations are great. Powders are great. Go on and on and on. Like, if you're going to choose one drugstore brand, for me, it's Maybelline. And they just came out with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So I have used their Fit Me Matte Foundation, their Fit Me Normal Foundation, foundation. I have tried their Fit Me Dewy Foundation, which was all in a liquid form. I have tried their Fit Me Pressed Powder multiple times. I've tried their concealer, and I think that's it from the Fit Me line. But for the most part, I always typically like it, and I have heard rave reviews about this stuff. And I've also been super into uh, just loose finishing powders lately, so I got it in Fair. And, uh... Yeah, it'll come out of those little holes once I take the stickers off. I'm super excited to try this. Because all my loose powders that I have right now are expensive. I love them, but they're expensive. Did I pay full price though? No. The next thing I got, I don't have any drugstore highlighters. So, and I saw this beautimousness thing. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Ugh, sticker. All right. I'm like, ah, oh, butt cheeks. I just dug my finger into it when I was trying to roll up my stupid teacher's sweater. Well, let's watch what's on my finger. I don't know if it's picking it up very well. I'll do a closer up shot of uh, the swatches for this. Um, <laughs> well, it's nice and creamy because I just gouged it. It does feel nice and soft. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to try that. Another Ulta product, also for brows. This is their brow tint. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be like any other brow tint. God, they, like, not only baby-proof these things, they Emily-proof these things. How the hell are you supposed to open this? There's, like, not even a tear spot. All right, well, I'm going to twist it and then peel it off that way. See, it's got a nice tiny little brush, which I like because then it's easier to apply to smaller areas. It looks almost moosey. Hmm. We'll see. Next. I can't believe I spent this much money on a concealer. I caved and I bought the Tarte Shape Tape. And I've never tried it because it's like $27 for this. <gasps> so I've always wanted to try it, duh. But also, I have a whole bunch of concealers that claim to be dupes, and I don't love them. Um, so part of me wonders, are they actually dupes? So I'm going to create a video to see, are they actually dupes or not? It's possible that I hate them because they're exactly like this, and I'm just going to hate this. But I kind of doubt it, though, if that many people like it. Last thing in the bag. Box? Bag? It's the bag in a box. Um, it's all by... <coughs> Excuse me. It's all by Anastasia, Anastasia? It's all Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes in this little pouch. And I have four little doodads in here. I got a little mini brow whiz, which I have a full size of right now. However, the one that I do have is probably way too dark for me. So this one's actually my color, which is taupe, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I got that. I got, oh, I got a little lip, liquid lipstick. I forgot about that. Um, I have quite a few of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, so I hope this isn't one I have a color of. And you know what? It kind of almost looks like it is its crush. Um, so before I start smearing it all over myself, I'm going to make sure I don't already have this in a full size. Because then I'll just give this away to somebody. Um, a lip gloss, which I do not have any lip glosses by them. This is in Saint Tropez. Let's see. These swatches are so professional. And I got an eyeshadow. This is in the color rose gold. It doesn't look like rose gold. It looks like pink. Let's put it right next. Ooh, that bitch buttery. Okay, that's gorgeous. 
That is like straight up coral, not a rose. Eh, it is kind of rose gold now that I've swatched it. That is beautiful. I did not expect it like that. That's a full size eyeshadow, which is probably like 20 freaking bucks. Just that. And I got it for free. The next box. <laughs> Oops. I love Morphe. Like everything that I've used from Morphe before, I just tend to love. Um, so I did make another purchase off of their website to get a few things that I've been really wanting to try from them and they finally had back in stock. So the first thing is their continuous setting mist. People rave about this. I already sprayed a setting mist just on my face, but this one is continuous. So it doesn't stop. If I kept holding down, it would continue. Mmm, that smells good too. Um, oh god, it smells real good. People swear by this stuff, so I'll probably like it. Then I tried out, they just came out with uh, their own foundation, which they haven't had a foundation before. So I got the shade F170, I don't know, one of the lightest ones. It's supposedly full coverage foundation. Looks like this. I'm looking forward to using it. Next thing is concealer. And again, one of the lightest colors. This is their matching concealer to the foundation. I needed another, well, I just bought another concealer, $27 one, but I bought another one too. Um, this next one is also a concealer, but I'm super excited about this one because it is in white. That's right, folks. It's white. Um, and I actually like to use concealer mostly, not for covering extra blemishes or spots or anything like that, but just brightening. I put it under my eyes, on the ridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, chin, blah, 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 um, to brighten areas and then blend it in with my foundation. So I'm excited to see how this works for that, if it's maybe too light or if it blends out nicely. And then also for uh, makeup looks where I want to go back into my eyes with a lighter color, either on the lid or in the inner corner, and I can brighten it up and then pack um, color on top of it. So we shall see. Wow, I, I forgot how much stuff I got. I got a new beauty sponge. Ah! So strong. Um, I have only... A, this bitch is dense. Damn. This is like... Dense little sponge. Um, I've only ever used Beauty Blenders before, like the original expensive sponge. Um, I've only actually paid full price for one of them though, which was the black one, because the real one is pink and I hate pink. Um, so I waited until the black one came out and got the black one. And then I bought like some sets in the past and I got a nude colored one and then I got, I think, a white one and then I got a pink one and I gave the pink one to my mom. Um, but they're old and gross, and I wanted a new one. Plus, this one has this flat edge, and it comes to the point to help you contour. So I'm excited to use it with loose powder. Ooh, yes, to like... I don't know. I'm real excited to try this little baby. People say it's really good. Two more things by Morphe, and then the rest is my TJ Maxx craft. This mega bronzer. People rave about this bronzer, so I wanted to try it. Um, boom! Um, they have a couple different colors of this bronzer. Um, this is called the Glamour Bronze. This is the color Icon. Oh, that's creamy! Can you tell that I've been picking up my nails today at work? I mean, it looks just like a sheer wash right now, but I'm sure I will be able to blend it crazily all over my face. Let's get crazy in here. I am not a lip person typically. If I do wear a lip color, it is nude, it is a gloss, or it is chapstick. However, this spoke to me. It's a bright ass red. I love this. It's called Hot Shot. It's one of Morphe's liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna put this on right now. I love the packaging first and foremost. It's very squared off and then all of a sudden the top just kind of like some slice the top off. I've never liked reds or like bright colors to begin with but this one just has enough orange in it that for some reason it like spoke to me. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> First impression smells like straight up vanilla. Again everything smells like vanilla. So 
will say this right now. I look like a weirdo, but I feel like if I had a tan and I wasn't wearing like teacher clothes, I'd like it a whole lot more. I really, I mean, I still really like it though. It makes my teeth look whiter. It's matte. I hope the smell of cupcake goes away. Mm. All right, so we are now into the TJ Maxx stuff. Now, if you have never perused the TJ Maxx makeup section, do it. It's hit or miss. I swear sometimes I go over there and it's crap. It's crappy brands. It's all been opened. Um, sometimes you just go over there and it's just junk. However, the most recent time that I went to my TJ Maxx closest to me, it was like a holy grail of products. Like high-end products, super affordable prices. And I had a $30 like gift thing. So yeah, I went crazy. Okay. So first things first, I'm currently looking at my computer and if I went to Sephora and bought this, it would be $44. I paid eight for another foundation by Becca. Yes, that's right. Becca, like the expensive brand Becca. Um, I have already tried this and I love it. Um, it is their luminous, aqua luminous perfecting foundation. Um, it pops up when you go like that, and then it's in a dropper form, and it is super luminous and dewy and glowy and beautiful. Um, it's not super high coverage, um, but I really like this, especially for the summer, just to be, like, bright and glowy and dewy and oh, that's... All right, now this bad boy, if I went and bought at Sephora, would have been $46, and I paid... Okay, I still paid 23 for this guy, but these colors are beautiful. This is an eyeshadow palette called the Volcano Goddess. Look at that packaging. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, and then, oh, I've also used this. I've kind of destroyed it a little bit already. Look at those colors. They're so pretty. Um, but they're super creamy, super blendable, super pigmented. Um, really just beautiful. Do I have most of these colors already in my collection? Yeah, but it was just, I don't know, it just spoke to me. It was a cool palette, so I bought it. Next, also by Becca, is this kit that is a, uh, what do they call it? Clab? Man, this red lip is throwing me. It's a collab with Becca and then Chrissy T... Tegan? Yeah, Tegan. That was right. Um, this is called the Chrissy Cravings Collection. It looks like this. Aww. And it comes with, I was going to say three products, but actually technically four. Because it comes with this little guy, which has, on the bottom, a cream highlight slash, use it for whatever you want, cream highlighty thing. It's a little oily. Um, and then on the top, it has an eyeshadow. Um, which is super cute. And then there is a full size loose highlighter and all the packaging says Becca and Chrissy and then a liquid lipstick that I can't get out. That looks like this. Mauvey, whatever color. If I bought that Chrissy Teigen Becca set full price, it would have been $44 and I, what did I say I paid? Like eight. Okay, no, I paid it. Really? 18? Eh, sorry, it was worth it. All right, finally, the last thing, another foundation. This one is by Laura Geller, another super high-end brand. If I bought this full price, it would have been $38. I paid eight. It's tiny too. Could you imagine paying $38 for that? Uh-uh, this better be good. So this one is supposed to be just a cream foundation, higher coverage. Um. I'm excited to try it out, especially because I got a good deal on it. So yeah, that is all the junk I bought that I did not need, but boy, am I excited to have it. Be on the lookout for a full
full face of makeup using only drugstore products. I'm going to do a full face of makeup using only high-end products, and then I'm going to compare the two. Um, I have a Pride makeup look tutorial that I have coming out. I feel like it's a little late um, because June's coming to a close, which means Pride Month is coming to a close. Um, but really, every month should be Pride Month. And also, I already did tape it. I just messed up the audio because I had the microphone like in my crotch and it was muffled. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already. Like this video. Leave me a comment in the section below to let me know your thoughts. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you want to see a certain type of video from me. Um, I really want this channel to just be like a safe space to like be normal. <laughs> Like, not be perfect. I am not perfect at anything in life whatsoever. Um, and I don't think anybody is. But YouTube especially and other forms of social media like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I feel like a lot of people project themselves to be perfect. Um, have a perfect life, have a perfect career, have a perfect relationship, family, yada, yada, yada. And it's kind of eating me up inside to keep seeing that over and over and over and over and over again and comparing myself and making myself think that what I have is not good enough compared to these other people. And that's not okay. I personally need to stop doing it. Um, but again, I also feel like I'm not the only one out there. So that's kind of why I'm creating this YouTube channel because I enjoy this crap. Um, and I don't want people to feel like they can't do it if they're not perfect. Um, so yeah, that is the moral of the story, according to Emily. Okay, goodbye, everyone. I didn't consider the fact that I'd be sitting through the rest of this video with a bright-ass red lip mouth.